In this question, they tell us that, or, or they ask, if P and Q represent natural numbers, which one of the following expressions must be another natural number? So they're asking, okay, you start with two natural numbers, which one of these operations, and they're highlighting certain operations, here A says Q divided by P, this says P minus Q, C says P over Q, or P divided by Q, it means the same thing, and then D says P plus Q. So they're asking you, you know, plug numbers in with these operations, is the answer to that operation still another natural number? And this is a, a basic test for something that's called closure, right? right? We want to see, are the natural numbers closed for these operations? In other words, closure means, hey, okay, if the natural numbers are closed for addition, for example, that means I could take a natural number, here's the nice symbol n, right? I could plug it into addition, throw it into that addition machine, and natural numbers are closed for addition if it always spits out another natural number. But if you put in a natural number and the operation here gives you a non-natural number, then the operation is not closed for that, right? In other words, it creates a new type of number by plugging in through this operation, or it has the potential of it, as long as it's possible using some operation to create a different type of number altogether, then you're, it's not closed for that operation. Now before we go any further, let's briefly remind ourselves, what are natural numbers? Well, they're also called counting numbers, you might have heard them call that. And typically the way they're defined is that they're whole numbers, but they start at one, right? So basically, the counting numbers are the whole numbers from 1, inclusive, up, right? No fractions, no decimals, and they just keep going. So 0 is not a counting or natural number. So let's, let's try this. And, I, I, you know, it's okay just to, if you're not feeling confident with a question like this, or if you're just wondering what's going to happen, set values for P and Q. Assume it equals something, and then work with that. So I'm going to assume that P is 2, and Q is 5, just for fun. So what about P plus Q? Okay, well that means I would do what? Well, P is two, Q is five, that would mean two plus five and we get seven. So we plugged in two natural numbers into the addition machine and still got another right, natural number. So it seems to be so far that this is closed. You can imagine since all the other natural numbers are just other positive whole numbers, this can always happen, where you're going to add up naturals and get a natural number. So I'm going to cross this out. Um, apologize. They're asking which must represent another natural number. So this is a possibility. right? D, it seems, always produces natural numbers. Um, let's stick with our same numbers here for the next choice. P over Q. That means take P, the number you've assigned for P, 2, and divide it by Q. Well, two, 2 divided by 5 equals 2 fifths, which equals 0.4, and that's not a natural number. We chose two natural numbers, 2 and 5, plugged it into our operation, and got a non-natural number. So this is not closed for division. The natural numbers are not closed for division. You know, you can find an infinite number of pairs of, of natural numbers that divide to get fractions, right? 1 divided by 2, 2 divided by 3, 2 divided by 5, and so forth. Uh, you can just keep going with all these combinations. What about P minus Q? Well, actually in our case, since we chose a P that's less than Q, that would mean we end up doing 2 minus 5, and that's negative 3. And that's not a natural number, that's an integer, or a rational number. So this is not closed for subtraction. And again, here's another case of division. And it shouldn't matter the order we divide in, right? Because we don't know what Q and P are. So by flipping the order from, from over here, which when we wrote P and Q, should not change the result, but let's just test it out anyway. So Q is 5, P is 2, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, or 2 and 1 half. That is not a natural number. So natural numbers are not closed for division or subtraction, but it seems that, right, that natural numbers are closed for addition, because plug in any natural number and you're guaranteed to get another natural number. So we can say that yes, it's closed for addition. Alright, thanks a lot.